Hey guys, for tonight's video, I wanted to re-edit and upload a New York trip video when Mia and I went back to visit the East Coast. The original video was like contrasting New York and LA. I'm just gonna cut out the California stuff and make it a New York vlog. So let's go back to 2013. It's another beautiful day in New York City. Before Image Anime, we went to the Skylight Diner. They put chocolate chips on top of their chocolate chip pancakes. Another very pleasant and affordable breakfast in Manhattan. Image Anime wasn't open, we were too early. But hey, it's New York City, let's walk around. We went to the New York Public Library. Hadn't been there in ages. Really cool, really beautiful old building. You guys might recognize this library from the original live-action Ghostbusters movie from the 80s. Then, of course, we went to Toys R Us in Times Square, and then we walked over to Midtown Comics. It's Image Anime time, take two. And then back to Image Anime. This time we were open. After that, we watched the birds do whatever it is they're doing here, and then we went over to the High Line. The High Line was a former elevated subway that they converted into like a walking garden, and it's, it's really cool and very pretty. Yeah. We're on the High Line. And I love that they left the train tracks and even worked them into the into the design in some areas. We exited the High Line to find food, and right there was New York Burger Co. Oh, the sauce bar. Oh, look at all that sauce. Really good burgers, really good milkshakes, really good fries, really good sauce bar. And then we went back to Image Anime. We always enjoy going to the Marriott, and then here's Mia in the old TRL studio. You guys remember MTV, TRL? That's where Carson Daly used to stand. Lots of good history there. And finally, we took a short train ride back to New Jersey. And we drove all the way out to Morristown to Friendly's. <laughs> and now let's end the day with an ice cream sundae. We wanted an appetizer and they're half off right now. And that's exactly what I wanted. This is huge. We got all sorts of good junk food. Wow, that was really fast. Yeah. Some of which we took home because we had to save room for the ice cream. It's here. That's a giant sundae. Perfectly peaceful dinner. Bye bye, friendlies. Remember when you could drive home on a Saturday night and it looked like this? And we went back to the apartment where Mia and I are actually able to share a bedroom and we watched TV and went to sleep. <laughs> if some of my statements and observations seem odd in this video, living in California was not always so easy or peaceful. So that's, that's why it's like that. But anyway, so here's another day where we just stayed in New Jersey. It's a snow day. I don't think we're gonna have school today. He threw a snowball at me. Take snow. I got A. Hey, got snow all over me. Down your pants. Hey, don't down, you dare. It goes right down your pants. You do not catch my snow and throw it back at me, Mia. New Jersey sunrises and sunsets are so terribly underrated and so beautiful. Mia and I had a nice dinner at Mr. Chu with Dad out on Route 10. Oh, look, he's already stealing my string beans. He stole my string beans. Next day we were in New York and we went to Queens. We had a little Queens adventure, which I really enjoyed. We woke up peacefully and we got on the subway and decided to go to Queens for the day. Don't have to worry about traffic or parking, just get on the train.
think I'd heard the 7 train referred to as the food train. There's a lot of good food along that line that you can just get off and go eat somewhere. So that's what we did. We went to this good Thai place that we'd never heard of. I got this really good tea with the thingies at the bottom. Oh, and coconut rice. We went to the New York Hall of Science. It's really more for younger kids, but we of course still had fun. I have an aunt who lives in New York who took me here when I was a very little kid, so it was kind of cool to just go back and see it as an adult. You fell to your doom. <laughs> That's why I don't. To your out. doom, mischievous face. But you know, man, you know what you did. Oh, and Jerry had been jealous of that spinning. Here comes lunch. Look at this place. You guys know I love old and vintage stuff, and I, I love the World's Fair. It's really here! But I've never actually walked around there, and I don't think I realized it still existed. Or parts of it, anyway. You guys might even recognize some of the scenery from the first Men in Black movie. Is that crazy? I had no idea. No idea. And then here is the Queen's Museum of Art. I can't believe this place still exists. And it sounds like since we were there, they've started to revitalize it a little bit, and I think they're looking for plans to do something with the area. I would love to go to a World's Fair. They should do another one. Okay, now this is absolutely ridiculous. It's this enormous, enormous model of New York. There's Mia in the background for size reference, but you still can't get an idea of how big this thing is. This is something you just, you have to go see it in person. It's so huge and so crazy. We stayed late. We were the only ones in that park. When we got back on the subway and we went to Times Square, Obviously, I would have gone to Toys R Us. <laughs> and then after that, we went to see a movie. I saw that cute but stupid movie, Warm Bodies. It was fun. And then we went to the good old Seinfeld restaurant. We shared a very good pizza burger and fries, and then of course we had to get pie. After dinner, we went home and we went to sleep over 79th and Broadway. The next day, we did a little toy hunting in the Bronx. about New Wave Cafe for us. Coffee for a dollar. We had a good breakfast at the New Wave Cafe. Got our home fries and eggs, toast, and chocolate chip pancakes. And then we decided to do some toy hunting in the Bronx for a change. All right, first stop is Target. We've got these guys. These are kind of nice. I got Megaforce cards. All right, we found Toys R Us. Got the Barracuda blade, these vinyl thingies. You 
beautiful sunlight. And then after we did our shopping in the Bronx, we took the train to Union Square. We went into Forbidden Planet, and I think that's the first time I'd ever seen Star Trek toys. I didn't know about these. I was like, I think I need that, and that little E.T. thing too. And then Mia loves her books, so we took a walk to the Strand. That place is huge, and they've got all sorts of great books. Look at Mia looking at those banned books. Good ones. <laughs> oh, Mia's looking for a bare breast. Yeah, are you being a pervert? Then you guys know I love to attack Mia with the stuffed animals, right? Hi, Mia. Come closer. Closer, Mia. Hi. Pet me. Thank you. All right, when does it attack my face? I would never attack Mia. She didn't see that coming. Checked out the bean. Then we walked over to the coffee shop bar. And believe it or not, we had some coffee. And pie. Pie just kind of goes with coffee. Next and last day included a trip to Coney Island. We went to visit our friend Fred at YouTube. We're at YouTube. I interned for him at Nickelodeon back in the 90s. One of many things I really love about New York is you just go out and the day will kind of happen to you. You just walk and you'll find all sorts of things to do without any plan. We totally stumbled on Donut Plant. This place had some really awesome donuts. Not so easy to just pick one or two. You might need to just get a big box of them and take them home. That's what we did. Is this the coolest bathroom? Why doesn't my bathroom have a disco ball? I think I need that. Man. Yeah, did it. Hey, tell everyone what you did. Wrong Spring Street. <laughs> so now we have to walk across all of New York City to get to the place we're going. Uh, oh, Mia, what was that? Mia, Mia, I saw that. Wait, did you just <laughs> give me the finger? Mia, did you give me the finger? Oh, you're gonna get punished when we get home. Want Ben's famous pizza? Mia's making us take a detour so we can see these scary things. Look at how scary these are, Mia. And here's something for Jerry. Oh, Mia's gone upstairs. Time for real food first, though. We went to Mexican Radio for lunch. Last time we ate here, we actually sat downstairs. They have a pretty little downstairs as well. And I remember Julie was annoying us last time. This time was Julie free. We had good Mexican food. The drink Mia ordered was very strong, which is why she looks like a drunk face. Oh, what a drunk face. Still cute though. Mia's a little drunk face. We'll make a left at on the house. To... Is that English you're speaking, drunk face? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I walk up to... Drunk face? Then we got on the train and headed towards Coney Island. But first I had to go to Train World. Can't get to Coney Island without passing Train World. You gotta go there. I think I need that rainbow car. And this cool vintage 7-Up car too. For a little while, me and I were the only people on the train. You really wouldn't think to go to New York for some peace and quiet, but I'm able to find it there. We spent a little time walking around Coney Island and on the boardwalk. This is back when they had that terrible storm. You guys remember Sandy? We headed home and stopped at Home Depot. I just couldn't live with those hideous green tiles behind the stove. And this Home Depot in New York is the only place I could find those silver sheets. We got things for the kitchen, hooray. 
we're finally gonna try our, what is it, donut pub? Donut plant. Donut plant. We've got our donut plant donuts. We haven't tried yet. Wow. What do you think of these, man? Oh, now I want donuts and pizza and Chinese food. All right, hope you guys will check out our How We Met story. I just posted that last night, so that's up. A Coney Island Day featuring how Mia and I kind of started to get together. That's like the first chapter, maybe the second chapter, in how Mia and I ended up getting together. So I hope you guys will check it out. Lots of people have asked. We posted it. Not a lot of people have seen it yet, but the people that have seem to really enjoy it. So we'd love to do more of those. Hope you guys check it out. And hope you enjoyed this video. It was like kind of nice to, to look back in some ways. <laughs> Remember when you could go outside and eat in restaurants and uh, stuff like that? Just be out in public. Good times, right? It, it was a nice thing to look back on. I, I hope to get back to that someday. <laughs> uh, 2013 was a long time ago, huh? I, I kind of wouldn't mind going back to 2013 at the moment. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and the previous one. We'll be back with more stuff. I did kind of a uh, easy video for tonight because we've been working on the White Ranger thing for the other channel. So we finished all the stuff that we have so far, but we want to shoot a few more scenes. So because it's only like 28 seconds long, even though it looks good. So more to do. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more good stuff. Good night.